Hello, this is Goose of Rooney, and we're back with Orc Slayer in Avalon. Uh, now, we are resting. I have just done this with my deck, so I decided to go with... Um, like, you know, whenever this guy attacks someone, he generates a 1-1 goblin. So, I wanted to keep anything that buffs my guys, uh, like these three cards. Uh, I might as well keep this, you know... When ally is melee attacked, pacify surrounding enemies so they can't attack till the end of their own turn. Um, I also did a swap out of the bear. Uh, I'm keeping two dreadnoughts just because these seem to be good cost cards to me. Um, I'm not considering myself an expert on that by any means, but you know, seems like a good one. Uh, I should probably swap out one of these five costs for the red dragon since... Uh, I have this guy here, inflicting vulnerable to fire, and also, I don't know, 6, 16. This guy's 5, 15, but he gets two, plus 2, plus 2 every time he kills something, and he's hexproof. So, you can't just, like, spell him away. So that, to me, seems really strong, but the red dragon is flying. Sprint shot, deal 5 damage in a range 3 cone. I don't know, like, this damage probably can't be blocked or anything. So I might do a Switcheroonie for them. Uh, this Cyclops has armor 5, which is a ton of armor. Knockback 5, which is a ton of knockback. Uh, also has swipe and charge deal 2 damage. So I feel like this guy's just kind of insane. So that's why he's sticking around, for sure. Uh, I also wonder how much more than 5 attacks someone's gonna need. Right, and really, I would at most get it up to 9, which is which is like a ton of attack, you know, don't get me wrong, but I don't know that 9 attack is needed that much more than like 5 attack or 6 attack, you know what I mean? Uh, so since this guy does d deal 5 fire damage at range 3 cone, and then he does 6 damage in melee, I feel like that's it's probably going to be more useful overall. So I'm going to put that in. I do have the Whelp also. Deal 2 fire damage and a range 3 cone, because he comes in handy. Uh, I have the in-between. I even have Dragon Breath here, because uh, it's a one-cost spell for something that's pretty good for, like, clearing out little guys or bypassing block or whatever. I took this out uh, just because I don't, I don't use it a lot, and I now have uh, her. She heals 4, so that's pretty useful. I swapped out the... Uh, you know, fiery marauder guy for the bear again, because days. Uh, you know, reading a card again. Days seems really good. Swipe end days seems like a, a good way to go. And so with that, we are gonna break camp and we're gonna have some elite fights on our hands. And I think the first one I'm gonna do is this uh, Chotuk, and I can see this potentially being an issue, but I think I can take him also. If I go up the full amount, uh, I'm in range of this guy, not this guy. I think we'll go up two. I'd like to put this on my bear and have him go way up. Um, hmm. See, this guy still can't attack him. It is surrounding, not just adjacent. But see, my concern is this one guy is going to attack him. It'll pacify him. But, like, I can probably get a bigger bang for my supposed buck later out of that guy. I don't know, maybe I'll play the first one just uh, pretty safe here. And I'll also set her up to kind of have a good good view of stuff. Um, this, like, won't get rid of their block or armor, right? Because block um, fills on the start of unit's turn. I think block also refills on the start of unit's turn. Maybe not, though. Let's test. Oh, that goes through block. And armor, because it's psychic damage. Oh, well then that's just handy anyways. Great. Alright, fair enough. 
Huh. Okay, let's summon her right away. Let's attack him. Which should then get rid of his block. Which is pretty handy. So then I can give him a good old smack. Okay. Uh, now he's got no block. No shield. Hmm. Sucks to suck. Um, yeah, I might just use the goblin to uh, to block. Uh, or actually, here we go. That's probably a good use of him, right? Feel all allies five. Huh. Good thing I focused fire. Yep, there it is. So now they both can't attack or block. Which, uh, you know, seems pretty good to me. One, two, three. Could attack here. So if this guy... He can do a good old backstab. Whoop. Pacify surrounding enemy. Same thing, huh? Ah, oh, well, that actually ruins what I wanted to do, but okay. Fair enough. Hmm. That's too bad, that's too bad. Still. Can keep doing that. Here, I won't let you backstab me, I don't think. Um, so let's go this way, so I'm like facing this direction. Uh, and let's... <laughs> yeah, let's summon this guy. Let's have him go, like, way back here. So next turn, his far shock can be more useful. This guy still doesn't move, so yeah, sure, let's hit him. Whoop. All right, he could clearly respond, but that's fine. I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. Hmm, vulnerable to fire four could be a real problem for you, I'm assuming. Okay, that's rude. That's rude. So your block up. Can't block until moving to new space. Great. Well, the poison's gonna get her anyways. So that's not great. Mm -hmm. The fire will take this guy out immediately. Um. Anyways, one, two, three, one, two, three, uh, so I can get both of them with a four damage fire attack, but that means I'd have to move. 
Which I suppose I could. See, this guy will get another backstab then. That's annoying. Hmm. I know. I'll just come over here. Give him a smack. Summon a, another goblin. Right. Uh, this guy will get a smack this way. Which will push him into the zone. Uh, and this guy will... Yeah, I might as well just go for more damage on him. Okay, and then... I mean, I think this is the way to go. Okay, and then they're all going to get cooked. Alright. Now, what do I do about this guy? He could be problematic. One, two, three. More of an ally. Uh, two, four, five, six. Hmm. I plus three, so it'd be five attack. It'd be just enough. Hmm. Still, just enough is probably what we want. Hmm. Or, one, two, and four. I could do six damage to this guy, so I'd only have six health left. I mean, that's probably the move, right? Heal yourself, huh? Rude. Jungle Cat has a lunch. Okay. She would have died anyways to poison, so I'm not concerned about that. Uh, okay. Let's see what we can do here. And certainly take out the Jungle Cat. Again, not super worried about that. Um, hmm. If I like push him back, which will ruin his block, and then I don't know, and then a combo stab from this guy or something. Hmm. I think he'd still counter attack though. And let's see. I don't know. I guess I will start by, yeah, just taking out the jungle cat. Oh, ah yes, what a good combo, very good. Uh, and then the bear. You move the normal amount of spaces, right? Yeah. So. Right, you don't have the ability to attack like somewhere else. No, wouldn't you do a ranged attack? No moving. Oh, right, you can't do, I guess you can't do a far shot or um, yeah, shoot unlimited range, can't move and shoot. Yeah, but you can't do a far shot if they are next to you. That's not a thing. Uh, and since that can't happen, do I just go for this guy? Do I go for the scorpion? Because it's going to cause problems. I may, in fact, hit the scorpion. Because it is, I suppose, overall the more dangerous thing. Uh, here, this goblin's gonna go here, so I can't be backstabbed by that guy. I guess I'll face the scorpion so it can't backstab me. Also, uh, this guy's up for a good move, but I don't know what he plans to do with that. Hmm. Do I want to put this guy on the field? Probably, right?
You guys can, uh, you know, block each other. You can do a good old stab. Uh, now he's stuck there, too. So that's pretty good. Ooh, wall of fire. Well played, because we are definitely all in a direct line. Hmm. Okay, I don't know about the moving, though. The whole moving thing didn't make a lot of sense to me. Because that's how you lose. Alright, well... Ha, huh, the wall of fire with both a really good play and his downfall. So, how about that? Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. At the start of your turn, your closest minion with the most life gains armor 5 until the start of their turn. Okay, that seems pretty good. Equipment left hand, equipment left hand. See, this one's just like, it just happens, so. Well, that's interesting. Rotate all enemies so their backs are facing you. Um, but I definitely don't have any, but I don't want a second one of you, probably. So I don't want my deck to be super expensive, full of just big dudes. I maybe want a different uh, meteor shower. I don't know. Bandit and animal. See, I'm not really going for that. I don't know. I may use another meteor shower. I already have one, but I, you know, might use another. Uh, let's see what we got. Ring of power for one attack permanently. I mean, I'll do that. So the juggernaut Rubik's definitely going on me. Let's use that here. Uh, ring of power. Plus one attack. Excellent. Love to see it. Okay, so that turned out to be pretty rough. Uh, I only have five health. She only has three. This guy's got ten. But, yeah. So, I don't know that I can necessarily do a full clear here. I think I'm going to have to rest before I do another fight, for sure. Right. Um, dang. And I only got one more campsite left, and then I want to fight the boss on full health as well. Dolgamesh Grim. Hmm. Alright, so here's the deal, I think. I go and rest, then I fight the boss. Hmm. But I don't have two of these. Hmm, I wish I just had more health. Do I perhaps have... no. I can get more friends, but my main character just being at 5 health sounds really risky. Let's go here. Now that I have a good amount of money. I can get another... I could... Hmm... It's interesting, because I wanted to also go over here. Buy less stolen goods. Right, like I want some of these that are quite expensive. Huh. Uh... Yes, so this is what I want. Really, that's 2025 to get. However, I think what would be... Like, I want those cards. They're clearly good. But I think what would be more helpful to me now is getting some more of these. Because, really, I can make, like, a... A much more clear-cut, cohesive... Uh, don't need that. Uh, like Goblin and Orc deck specifically, if I just go for some of these. So, like, I think I'll get another Goblin. I'll get the Orc Champion. I almost wonder about just going like, yep, and another one, and another one. And really just going hard in, like, a specific direction for my deck. I'll take another one of these. I'll take another Orc Huntress. 
Uh, now I only have 200 gold, so. Thank you, sir. Um, hmm. I mean, I just have not enough health, so I got to rest, basically. That's what it comes down to. All right, so let's see. Yeah, I mean, I was missing 20 health, which is, you know, a lot. Hey, dude, what's up? I think I'm going to keep you out for the same reasoning as before. I think these are my two pals. Uh, so let's figure out my deck. Okay, so... Dread on Axe Lair, Dread on Warrior, yada yada. The Whelp comes out. This might come out. Um, and when we're just gonna... We're gonna see about putting stuff in and where we find ourselves. So, want that, want that, want that. Okay, there is the full 20. And those are all the new Orcish cards that I got. And want in the deck. So, let's see. Uh, this is this is just generally useful all the time. I like this spell a lot. So I have two of these guys. Uh, they are quite handy, though, I think. Like, they're usually worth it. Um, okay, so we got a Goblin Archer, which he won't be great, except for Orc Battlehorns, in which case he will be quite good because he gets plus two plus two so we'll be able to three five for one so that's nice uh and until then he can at least take away things like block or chip away armor or something like that uh Hork huntress quite good and then orc champion when an orc is injured give it plus two plus zero to on the turn like that's good goblin champion's definitely good okay and uh, again all these guys will get extra bonuses from the orc battle horn Meteor Shower, Fireball, Wall of Fire, all these things I like. The Red Dragon I like. Uh, so, area attack, buffs, and units that do well with the buffs. Do I want some more units with, like, just base level high staying power? Because I currently have, basically, well, Orc Champion 410 is pretty good. Then certainly this has staying power, uh, and the Red Dragon does too, really, with 16 health. That's pretty impressive. So, I'm gonna say I'm probably good on that. Uh, and I don't need stuff like the Axe Slayer or the Titan here. And inflict Vulnerable to Fire until end of turn. I do certainly have a lot of fiery effects happening. Uh, hmm. I also have the chance of getting a hand of like the high cost guy. Well, no, actually, I don't have that many high cost guys. I don't think that'll be a huge problem. Uh, the problem will maybe be hoping to get the buffs and not getting them, and then being stuck with like Goblin Archer, Goblin Champion. No, I. Mm -hmm. I think this is gonna work. The question is, do I want something like Taunt, maybe? Or something that's just super scary. This guy's super scary. He counts for that. Uh, do I want another meteor shower? I don't think so. I might, though. Mm, I sort of don't think so. I think this is what I'm going with. I'm going to stop, uh, you know, going back and forth with it. So here we go. Uh, we're at 23 minutes because of what I've done. 24 now. Let's see. So let's. I guess we're going to do another elite fight and then see about the boss one.